Hi and good morning. So welcome again to our new topic. This will be our last discussion in a new term. This is one time and regular, I mean one time and several regular payments. So for this lesson three, um, we will be discussing the two types of payment when it comes to loaning or credit. And then on this particular lesson also, the um, first topic that we have, the simple and compound interest will be discuss thoroughly. So um, again, welcome and let's continue to um, do the discussion. Okay, so for the introduction, a loan is a debt provided by one entity. It may be an individual or an organization. So another entity at an interest rate. So in this lesson, different loan repayment arrangements will be discussed. So um, again, in this particular topic, we will have our discussion about loans and debts on how we will be able to process a payment. May it be um, one time payment or several regular payments. So let's continue. So um, by the way, what is loan? So I'm pretty sure all of you are already familiar with what is loan or um, debt. So loans can be repaid through a one-time or several regular payments. So there are also cases involving a single or several debts being settled through a single several payments. So computations might be both, um, again, the, both the simple and compound payments. So there are two types of payment that's um, one-time payment or that single payment or several regular payments. So um, if you are actually familiar with um, weekly payment that is actually an example of several regular payments like um, ASA, CARD, and um, other foundation that actually provides loans to um, specific households. And then um, for one-time payment, of course, it will just be like one-time payment and nothing else. Okay. So first and foremost, let's discuss the one-time payment. So one-time payment, um, it is like, for example, a one-time payment that you will be paying for the amount that you have loaned. So like, for example, in this one, what is the maturity value of an 8,000 debt payable in two years at the rate of 12 and 3, 4 percent? So in this one, we will be using the simple interest. So as this is, I mean, the solution, the maturity value is obtained using the formula F is equal to P, um, and then open and close parenthesis, one plus R. So where P is equals to the um, principal amount, R is the rate, and the um, T here is the time. So um, as per given, the principal amount is 8,000. Well, the um, time here is two years, and then the rate is 12 and 3 4 percent. So um, if we change it into a decimal point, that would be 0 0.1275. So by substituting um, or by getting the answer, we need to substitute the um, variables to the corresponding numbers given. So F is equal to 8,000. And then that's one plus 0 0.1275 times two. So if you would actually um, calculate this one, the one-time payment that a person needs to pay for this particular example will be 10,040. So technically the um, interest that he or she will be paying will be 2,040. So that's the 12% or 12 and 3 fourth percent. So let's continue. Here is another example. This is James. Um, James borrows 700,000 and promises to pay the principal and interest at 15% compounded monthly. So how much must he repay after seven years? So um, in this one, the principal amount will be 700,000. The interest rate will be 15%. And then the time is seven years. So using the same formula that we have actually used earlier, um, that would be F is equal to P, open and close parenthesis, that's one plus R over N. And then with the, um, since it's actually compounded, 
So we need to add here the um, PM on the upper part. So that's, or I mean, to the power, raised to the power of TM. So it would be 700,000, one plus 0 0.15 over 12, raised to the power of seven times 12. So if you will use your scientific calculator, the given answer will be 1,987,379.10 peso. So um, as you can see, the um, principal amount or the um, amount that James borrow is only 700,000. But since it was actually being paid over seven years and the um, interest is also compounded like 15%. So that's why um, the total um, interest that you will be paying after seven years will be 1.287. I mean, 1,287,379.10. So it's really a huge amount, but it was still um, being paid one time. Next here, um, another example, this is, um, this is still about James. So James here, um, three months after lending the money, James received an interest payment of 812 and 50 cents. So how much did he lend if the simple interest um, is 6% or 6 and 1 half percent or that's like 6.5%. So this involves simple interest. However, the missing quantity is not the, um, the interest but the principal amount. So given the formula I is equal to PRT, that would be the formula that we will be using. So the only thing that we need to do is um, substitute the given numbers. So I is equal to PRD. So I is 812.50, or that's the interest. And then the P here is the missing number. R is 0 0.065. And then the um, T or the time is three, and, uh, 3 over 12. So if you would actually um, check this one out or multiply this one, it would be 812. 50 um, is equals to P 0 0.065 times 3 over 12. So to get um, the principal amount here, we need to actually um, divide both sides with the 0 0.01625. Um, Where did we actually get this 0 0.01625? This is actually being multiplied from the rate and from the time. So that's 0 0.065 multiplied by 3 over 12. That's 0 0.01625. So since it was already been calculated, the only thing that we need to do right now is to um, remove the 0 0.01625 on the part of the principal amount to make sure that we will be able to get the correct number. So what we will do is um, divide both sides of 0 0.01625. So as you can see here, the 812.50 was divided um, by 0 0.01625. And then on the um, other part, or that the P here, um, since we have divided, so it would be considered as one. So we, can, we just need to like remove it. And then once it was already been removed, we can have the answer. Um, 50,000 is equals to P. All right, next. So this time um, we are done discussing the um, one time thing. So this time let's go ahead and discuss another topic that is the several regular payments. So what is actually several regular payments? So this is actually um, a type of payment where we need to actually process a payment, not just one time, but a couple of months. So um, another example here will be um, home credit for your cell phones, laptops, or other devices. Um, in our household, that would be um, credit for like motorcycle or um, refrigerator. TV, washing machine, or um, any appliances that you actually applied as a credit in LYR or other um, companies. So this time, 
um, we will be discussing in several regular payments two type of regular, I mean, several regular payments. First is the annuity. So an annuity is a sequence of equal payments made regularly or periodically. So the amount of each payment is referred to as the regular or periodic payment denoted by letter R. So um, an example here, a smartphone is purchased with a down payment of 1000 and the balance will be paid at 1075.83 pesos a month for one year. So what is its cash price if the interest rate is 6% compounded monthly? So in this one or in this example, the given is the down payment, which is the 1000 um, the monthly payment and the rate, but the price or the principal amount of the device is not actually being given, so it's um, missing. So that would be the, the amount we need to check. So in this one, cash price is equals to down payment plus present value of the balance. Then the balance is an annuity with present value. P is equal to R. 1 minus 1 plus R over M raised to the power of negative TM over R over M. So this one, <clears throat> R is the amount of the periodic payment. So that would be the 1,075.83. And then R is the rate of interest. M is the number of payments per year, compounding period. And T is the time in year. So from the problem, R is equal to 1,075.83 pesos, M is equal to 12, um, T is equal to 1, and R is equal to 0 0.06. So um, let us have the solution here. <clears throat> so it would be T is equal to R, and then um, open and close parenthesis, 1 minus 1 plus R over M raised to the power of negative TM over R over M. So um, substitute the numbers, that would be 1,075.83 multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.06 over 12 raised to the power of negative 1 times 12. And then that would be divided by 0 0.06 over 12. So as you can see here, um, we need to follow the regular um, you know, solving method, that's the PEMDAS. So what we will do is we will solve First, the 1 plus 0 0.06 over 12. So that would be um, 1.005. And then the um, raise to the power here will be the 12. So as you can see here on the bottom part, that would be um, 1075.83 multiplied by 1 minus 1.005 raised to the power of negative 12 over 0 0.005. So hence, if we actually process the, um, so I mean, solve this one in your scientific calculator, that would give us an answer of 12,500. So hence, cash price will become 1,000 which was the down payment plus the 12,500, which is the total amount that we have actually solved. And the total amount of the device is 13,500, all right? So let's go ahead to the next one. So um, another type of several regular payments here will be the amortization. So amortization is a debt or payment scheme in which the original amount borrowed is repaid by making equal payments periodically. <clears throat> so an example here is find the monthly amortization for a 150,000 debt which is to be repaid in two years at 7% interest compounded monthly. So for the solution, the formula that we will be using will be R is equals to P multiplied by R divided by M over one minus one plus R over M raised to the power of TM. So the same 
R is the rate, uh, the, you know, the amount that we will be needing. P is the principal amount. Um, the small letter R is the rate. Time here is the T and then M is the compounded monthly. So P is equal to 150,000, T is two, R is 0.07 and M is close to 12. So let us substitute the given numbers to the variables. And then that would make us 150,000 multiplied by 0.07 over 12. And then that would be divided by one minus one plus 0.07 divided by 12, raised to the power of negative two times 12. So if we actually solve the first one on the upper part, that would give us 875. And then on the lower part, we will be solving that one using calculator and it would give us 0 0.13028807892. You can actually like, um, you know, um, change this one because it's really a long numbers, but it would be depending on you. But the answer will be 6,715 pesos and 89 cents. So as you can see here, the monthly payment that the, um, uh, a person needs to process every month for the period of two years will be 6,715.89. Okay, so let us continue. We have here another example of the amortization. A newly formed business bought um, a property worth of 14.5 million. It deposited a down payment of 3 million with an agreement to pay the balance in 10 years at around 12% interest. And this will be compounded quarterly. So how much is the quarterly payment? Now, since they already made the 3 million down payment for the property, it will be subtra uh, subtracted to the original amount of 14.5. So using the amortization formula here, we will need to substitute all the given numbers. So, Hence, it would be R is equal to 11.5 million, um, since we already do down the 3 million, multiplied by 0 0.12 over 4, divided by 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.12 over 4, raised to the power of 10, multiplied by 4, that's negative 10, multiplied by 4. So the um, answer will be 345,000 over or divided by 0 0.69.4.41592. And the R here, or the quarterly payment, will be 497,517.35 cents. So, all right, that would be the end of our discussion. So if you have questions and further inquiries about one-time payment and several regular payments, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Again, my name is... Irish and have a great day ahead. Bye bye.